So I'm realizing on redoing this... Hello everyone, I should start out with... Hi, welcome to the episode. <laughs> I started midway because I've already been recording for like five minutes. So first off... Oh, I'm dumb. First off, I forgot to save. Welcome to another episode of Squiggy's Rom Hack Rom. My name's Squigs. This is uh, Language Learning Swedish by Akumi2. Alright, now that we got all that out of the way, I forgot to save, so I have to rebeat this level. I'm noticing you put Vit or Vait um, twice in this, and I think you might have messed up and meant to put something else, like maybe Grun or Grun, Grun, uh, because I didn't see green, but I saw white uh, twice. So that being said, we are back to where we left off. I'm so dumb. I do this thing. See, I should be saving. After every single level. I don't know if you can see those on the screen, but I just had the save states pop up. Uh, usually I just save at the end of my my recording session, but I forgot to do it last time for whatever reason. So we're in the castle of tools. Um, tools are... Verk... Verktig. Verktigs are tools. So we got... Oh, so we're going to have the same theme of counting numbers, I believe. Which is cool. I didn't know that would be going all the way throughout the hat. So we got... um. Wait, what is this? I like that idea, because then I have a lot of mini levels and the checkpointing on them is good. Uh, circular saw, I believe, okay. As you might expect by the saws outside. So how do you say circular saw in Swedish? You say, circles, circle suag, circle suag, circle suag, circle suag, I think. Because that's an ooh sound, so circle suag, I think. <laughs> I remember this one from the first one, too. There's playthrough as well. So this probably is unchanged-ish. I do know that they can fall on you if things go wrong. Ooh, there's a one-up up there. I mean, I'll take a one-up. Uh, I'm not going to shy away from a one-up. Oh, well, maybe I'll lose my fucking power up and die. That's also an option. Screw it. Yeah. Oh, right there is the mean trick that I remember. These tiles drop you to your death because there's no, like, walkable tiles there. I remember that. That is stuck in my head for two years. <laughs> so, um, can't fool me twice. Shame on me. We have so many freaking saws. There's another little hole. Um, so this one was zero again. Let's see. Vert vertig. Vertig are tools. We got, oh, that one's a little bit misplaced. So these are, what do you think we'd call this tool? Right? Um, I'll worry about what that says later. I'm wondering what this is going to say. Bore equals drill. Oh, that makes sense. A bore. Because you, you in English, would call it like a borehole. Sometimes the hole made by a drill, it would just be spelled B-O-R-E, I believe. So I can see where that word comes from. Uh, this part shouldn't be too bad unless they start coming up at us as well. It's easy enough to get through a couple of these. We're just going to use some fast forward magic here because why not? Lots of waiting in this part. Yeah, you might want to put a few coming up from the ground as well. Just to make it so like some areas are a little more dangerous. Less waiting. Um, just to suggest. What? Oh, there's a hole in that one. <laughs> this level's so mean. It's just got a hole like deadly holes in the the ground like I'll show you right here under the K there's no you can just fall right through that <laughs> it's weird I'm not sure if that was intentional or not I believe in the original one it must have been intentional because it looks like you've added more of them so maybe it's just a trick uh, part part two okay we got a zero and a one so far I believe if I'm correct, part two is saws with a bit of a broken background, but uh, you can change the background slight sprite slot or the background tile set will fix that background. Suag. Uh oh. This might be broken. Um, yeah, I don't think there's any way for me to get this to actually work because the wire has been broken. So without a cape, I can't cannot exactly do this part hopefully please don't be mandatory i don't know what i'll do if it's mandatory to be honest this time we're gonna go right through and move on to another one answer we're gonna have to guess again so i'm gonna say one it's probably wrong uh-oh wrong 
wrong is fell. Fell, I think, is wrong in Swedish, which will be fail. Now I have to go grind out lives a little bit uh, because I can't be redo. We still haven't hit a save point besides the first, um, what would you call it? The first uh, Switch Palace that we did. So I really don't want to redo everything again, considering I just had to redo it because I forgot to save. That didn't appear. Oh, there he is. Yeah, so I'm going to do this a few times. We'll be back in a second. Is it our lucky day? Will it be answer number two? Fell. What about answer number three? Huh? Correct. Yes. So we know that that section must have been equal to two. Correct equals rot. 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 Like, but it's like an uh, uh, like rot. Rot. It's not like an ah, uh, like I want to do, like uh, go to the doctor's office, like ah. Uh. It's like an uh, I think, according to the, the one video I did. I might be just absorbing part of the accent that was in the video, but I feel like the A is not the ah, uh, it's more like a uh, like an, I don't know how to how to do it better than that. So we're gonna just, we're just gonna move on to Sports Castle and pretend that I, I'm not embarrassingly bad at Swedish. So we have Run, we're gonna read these actually. You can enter a destroyed castle by pressing L and R at the same time. Do not forget to count the number at the end of each level door. Thank you very much. Uh, so we have Run. <laughs> I really, I gotta say, I love this fucking theme. Sumo. Esport? Oh my god, we get so much to look forward to in this. This is a little bit of a spoiler, almost, by going forward. But, um... Oh, and then there's baseball and, uh... Soccer, I would assume? I don't know what's going on here. We'll have to wait for that one. That one's going to be surprising. That's football. Or these are both kind of football. We'll, we'll just start with run and then see where we go. I'm assuming this is going to be a race against the clock. Oh, spring. Springa. Do I need, I need to bring these to the end, I think, right? Is this a race? Ah, oh, I died. Is this race mandatory? To get up and above? I've built a level like this. I'm wondering if I was inspired by you and forgotten that you had made a level like this in your original hack. I have one that is a bullet chase level like this. And if it's it looks almost exactly the same. <laughs> like it's not it's not exactly the same, like tile for tile or anything, but conceptually it's the same level. So I'm wondering if I accidentally stole this from you if it was in your old one. Without really remembering what who I was stealing from. Which I'm pretty sure it was, now that I'm looking at it, to be honest. Springa means run, I believe. Which is weird, because it sounds like it means something like jump to me. God, that's harder than it looks. I'm trying to keep them on screen, but I don't actually know if that's necessary. I've made a terrible mistake. Uh, I'll... Mm. I'm going to have to redo levels if I fuck this up, so i got to do this really well and hope for a one-up. All right, here goes, folks. Oh, I got one life left. Please don't kill me. Please don't. Oh, God damn it. Why did I jump on the... Oh, I never jump on the spring, dog. Never jump on the spring. Oh, what a dumb mistake I've made. Um, yeah, see, we're back at the P-switch, which means I have to... Re Luckily, due to the way these levels are structured, I can just blow through them. Um, if I can remember the... I don't remember the number for this one, but I'll, I'll try and figure it out. All right, through the scientific process of guess and check, I have beaten the rest of the levels without having to replay all the different portions of them. Again, great level design. Very cool way to make a bunch of mini levels inside of a level and have it feel real good. What the fuck am I supposed to do there? I think one of them might have despawned because I have so many bullets on screen. That means I should despawn all the bullets except for maybe like one or two. I'm going to try that this time. We're just going to outrun the bullets if possible. Well, not if I fuck it up like that. Oh, there we go. Fucking brilliant. Very well designed. We needed that to hop the gap. We got one for our number. Great little challenge. Sorry I ripped you off. Uh, next, we're going to go over here to the football one, maybe. Um, a Atari? 
Oh, I remember this level, definitely. This is Atari Donkey Kong. Yep, I don't know what it's supposed to be in the kicking... Oh, because that's Donkey Kong. Oh, I remember now. So this is like um, supposed to be like kind of like the first Donkey Kong level, I believe, with like the, these are the half ladders kind of deal. Um, let me see. There we go. Get our shell. And that up there is Donkey Kong kicking his uh his barrels at you. <laughs> so we just kill him with the shell, and then we're off. Oh man, I love stuff like that. America, American, Americansk, America, Americansk, Americansk means football. Oh, Americansk football is probably uh, football. I've heard it called football Americano, which I believe is the Spanish version. I got a little bit of lag there to fuck me up. So I get. I'm assuming that means American football, as in not soccer. All right, let's try this again, a little slower. We're sliding, so we wanna be slow as we slide. Oh my God, here we go. It's the football pachinko machine. All right, ah! Oh my goodness. Okay, we've gotten one of them, taken one of them out. This slippery nonsense is really tough for me to deal with. Um, so those of you that may have come from Mega Man Maker background, there's no slippery tiles. In Super Mario World, there are slippery levels. The entire level is set to slippery. So all this shit is slippery for me, even though it normally wouldn't be. Yeah, when you enter an entrance, you can set it as a slippery entrance, basically. Jeez. This is redonkulous. And if you think I had trouble with the slipperiness in Mega Man Maker, one, you'd be correct, I do. Um, and two... It's even worse in Super Mario World somehow, despite the fact that I've played way more Super Mario World. I cannot deal. Oh, it's, we got a zero for this one. So we're, we're at one total, I believe. I'm going to fuck this up before the end because there's like 10 in this. Um, I believe the first one was zero one. Yeah, even though I've played this way more, it's for some reason way harder. Um, what do we got? Brat. 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 Bratning. Brotning is wrestling. Oh, wrestling! So Brotning is wrestling. All right, I got it. Was that was reversed from the last way I saw it? I think some of the times you have the Swedish on the top, and some of the times you have the Swedish on the bottom. Or I might be just messing up. That could be me. So this time we're gonna wrestle the Chucks instead of try to read their beautiful uh, apple art. Nope, don't you even, s yeah, don't you hop at me. Not happening, buddy. I'm bouncing my way through. Oh, my goodness. All right, all right, leaving you all behind. No, nope, nope, I've made a mistake. There's so many sprites on screen. Even with slow-mo bullet time, I couldn't get my way out of that one. All right, let's see if we can, okay, never mind. I thought we could approach this a little more safely. Looks like I've thrown that away, and I'm just going to do the go for it. Nice, the bullet time actually helped us there. Jesus Christ, the falling chucks are hard for me to deal with, but it's because I'm impatient and want to run forward. Not today, boys. Get me out of here. Okay, I can't run too fast ahead though, because there's chucks in the air. Gah, you tricked me with your hopping chuck. Gah. Don't kill me. Okay, so this time I'm gonna zoom way ahead. Yep, we got the screen scrolled ahead. It's a three. Okay. No, hey, oh, watch it there. So we got four total. And we have a lot more to go, I think. So we have this one now, which I just don't get. I do not understand, so hopefully we'll figure it out. Um, what do we got? Ba oh, basketball! I gotcha. Okay, basketball is, what do we got? Oh, we can play basketball. Something like that, maybe? That knocked another shell out, which just killed it. But um, basketball is basket. <laughs> basket for zero. Um, well, if that door is zero, that means I'm done already? 
Maybe I... Maybe there's more to the level over here. That is bonus, almost? So these are the... The baskets of the basketball. Oh, I like it. A nice way to do a little basketball level. Let's see if we can get... Oh, this one... Please don't fuck with me. All right, that one had nothing in it. All right. So this one was zero, bringing our total to four, I think. Crap, did I forget? I think it's three, one, zero, zero. Um, I'm just gonna speed through this. Now we're at soccer, I believe. And this is definitely soccer. Whoa, hey, this team won. Ah, football, football, football. All right, so that's a zero as well. <laughs> See, I love this hack. It's like the hack is a little rough around the edges, but the concept, the concepts involved are fucking great in my opinion. I love stuff like this. Oh my God, we have power-ups. Baseball. Oh, you want to play some baseball? Bring it on, buddy. Yes, baseball, that classic sport where people throw balls at you and you burn them to death. All right. Yeah, burned. All right. Yep. The two and then the two shabu should work well for us. One. Oh, I didn't shabu, right. It's the one, two shabu, not one boot shabu, two. Doesn't even make sense. Are we, are we on like a... I don't know what the landscape's supposed to be here, but that's fine. It looks like it's just a level. Which makes sense. How do you make a baseball field that's just flat? Oh, no, not. Mm. Okay. Oh my god. I'm just happy to have power ups and know where I can go get them in the future. I'm gonna stay up top. It seems easier. Unless I'm required to stay underneath. Could be a thing. That is a thing that people do sometimes. They make a wire that if you jump over, you have to go back and reset. But that is not the case here. I'm jumping wildly. I've lost all my power-ups. So we're going to play it safe. Take them out from a distance. There we go. Oh. Nah, not today. And for you, a kick with a shell. There we are. Drop the shell on you. Uh-oh. I've overshot. Now it's just... Me and my wits. All right, I'm out of here. Nope, you're not splitting up into a thousand. What am I supposed to do? Oh, uh, do I need... <sighs> what am I gonna... Do I need to bring the chucks over there so I can bounce off? Maybe we're gonna try we could know his damage boost with the fire maybe but I'm not sure if that's the right way to do it All right, We're gonna lure these guys away I can't get through there now let me through Okay, I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna damage boost and see if I can make it We can it's, uh, we were probably supposed to ride the chucks over there, but that actually seemed harder to me. So we got five total so far, unless I fucked up adding, which is very possible. Um, and what do we got? Sumo time! All right. <laughs> Bring it on. Sumo is... Sumo wrestling is... Sumo brot... Bro, sumo brot... Ning. Sumo brot ning. Sumo brot ning. Hmm. Well, that starts us over in the sumo, sumo zone. Yep, bring it on. I'm taking all challengers. So we're still at five here. We're gonna fast forward because this area seems very safe. Where's the fast forward button? There we go. We can just run on over. And eSports, <laughs> which is a very interesting one. It appears to be our last one, I believe, too. eSports is... Ata... Atari? Oh. That's not a word, that's just Atari. And then NES. So eSports on Atari or NES? Let's check out the Atari first. Atari. One, what is this? 
Oh, Pac-Man! <laughs> we got Pac-Man, we got... I'm not sure what Atari game that would be. Bombs, parachuting, wiggler. Wow, we have like a whole series of mini games here. Jesus. Very intense. Let's see. Christmas tree of sorts. I'm not gonna just harvest coins. Finally. There is nothing on the edge here. I'm just gonna fast forward. Probably die. Why is this so long to nowhere? <laughs> you can just end the the level at uh, a level border. If you hit F1, you can see the level borders. And if you end the screen at a level border, it'll just stop. Like you don't, it'll be a hard stop. You don't have to keep making levels forever now. <laughs> um, let's see what we got here. So we're gonna start off with. Oh, we have Atari and NES. We're gonna start with the Atari. I'm not sure what this will be, so we'll just we'll check it out and see if we can get it. This is Space Invaders. Okay. <laughs> All right, this is pretty sweet. These were the mini games at the Yoshi's House last time, I believe. Yoshi's House had a few mini games in them, but now they've been moved to the level, I think. So we got zero for Space Invaders. That was cute. And then we can go back to Pac-Man. Should be interesting. Ah. Uh, Oh, we get, we're in the ghost house. Oh. Oh, God. We have to eat the coins while getting around the ghosts. I love it. Okay. Okay, this time we're going to be a little more careful about it. Getting to the top here and just running over. There we go. We've made it through pretty easily that time. Another zero, so we're still at four, I believe. Next is Atari Bombs. Don't kill me before I get in there, please. Ah, uh, what is this? Missile Command! Oh my god, I love this! Anyone that's an Atari fan probably recognizes all of these titles. You don't even have to be an Atari fan, to be honest. This is when the one where you can shoot up at the things that are, like, the missiles coming down and that you have to protect your towns, basically. Oh my god. I love it. Great! See, that's what I'm talking about. There's so much creativity in this hack. We're still at four. Atari... And the next one is Wiggle. Oh, it's got to be Centipede. I love Centipede for the record. Centipede. No Swedish word for Centipede, huh? Oh, they're coming down the map. <laughs> See, that's a great rendition of the way Centipede actually works. This is a, it's a pretty easy mini game. Well, maybe if you weren't so good at kicking blocks, it wouldn't be, but... um. Very clever recreation. I'm tempted to go to the right, but I'm assuming it's just more empty levels. So we're still at four. We need to remember that. And last we have, no, we have kick and then the, the, the block tree. This one is, oh, this one's an auto scroller. Moon? Moon Patrol. I've heard of it, but I actually don't. Oh, this is where you're the, the rover going across the ground. That's a great game, too, for the record. Um, I actually played that... Oh, fuck. I hate him. Um, nothing to do with Moon Patrol or anything, but I just don't like that mob. I shouldn't, shouldn't jump up to greet his flame. I'm gonna go get more lives. I'm saying this out loud so I don't fuck it up. This time, we're just gonna stay below it. Try not to fuck up. Can't kill it, it doesn't look like, so... It's pretty much just the dodging game. Oh my god. It makes me nervous. It's always bobbing above your head. That's one of the hardest enemies to deal with. Luckily, we're down low enough where it's not really able to bother us most of the time. But it's really, it's no joke. It's probably the hardest actual enemy in the game, in my opinion. To not take damage from. I'd stick by that. And if the hack wants you to fucking go Kaizo Mario 3 and spin jump off that flame to get over a gap, you're fucked. Just give up. Shut off the hack, snap the cartridge in half, and give up. Wow, that was good reflexes on my part. <laughs> um, I, I can't remember where we left off in this one. So I'm going to assume it's right about here. <laughs> we'll just come back here. We're somewhere in the middle of the journey. 
just gonna mash. Yeah, uh, you might notice. Oh, why squeaks? Do you have fireballs? I went and did the whole baseball thing over, thinking I could grab two fireballs, but I forgot I had to damage boost through the end, so I only ended up with one anyways. And this is worth zero as well, so we're still at four. I gotta keep that in mind, and that gives us one more. This tree that I don't remember is a Qbert. Oh my god, it's Qbert. How did I fucking forget that? I have to see what's in there. Qbert, bring it on. <laughs> One of the first games that I played on this channel. Oh my god. Really clever design. Clever design there. Having those guys jump up and down, kind of like. I don't know if you guys have played Qbert before, but those are a pretty good facsimile of Qbert enemies in a Super Mario World universe. That is pretty impressive, all things considered. Get zero here. And then I believe that's all the Atari ones, correct? I'm not gonna fall off the edge if I do this. Oh, I will if I go long enough. Okay, so we're gonna go back to the NES ones. We're gonna fast forward our way. And, oh, oh yeah, okay, we're at eSports. We'll do Atari and the NES. Um, so for the NES eSports, we have Turtles. We're gonna, we're gonna do these in order without spoiling them this time. We'll do Turtles first. Uh, Bubble Bobble is, um, Bobble. Or Bubble is Bobble. Bubble. Banan. No. Ver. Wait, what? So is this Bubble Bobble, I'm assuming? I must say, above it? No, that just says, okay, this says Bubble Bobble. And how you pronounce Bubble Bobble is, Baneo, Baneo of Verqui? Baneo I'm fucking that one up really bad, but, um, I'm just gonna chalk that one up to uh, being a hard word to say, even in Swedish. That's what I'm gonna tell myself. You didn't do a bad job, Squeaks. It's just a tough word. Uh, Bana Bana two? Is that level two or something? Or Bana three? The way oh in between rounds it says like yeah I know I've I've only played a little bit of bubble bu I played more bubble bubble blah, 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 blah. I played more bubble bubble on the piano than I have on the fucking console to be completely honest. So we have Bana five here. These are all the different levels though, which is very clever, well designed too. On a six. Don't do that shit. Jump over. Okay. Oh my god. You. Oh, you switch around kicker. Hey, it's number two. Haha, <laughs> we found it. I don't need to go back through it. So our next game is. Pipes. Probably Mario. <laughs> oh, it's the. The original Mario game. Yeah. Hey, that's cool. Uh, how do we... Oh, that turns those into green blocks. Weird. Um... I wonder, I wonder if I could get... If I could get a shell up there, I could get infinite lives. But Mario Bros. <laughs> yeah, the original Mario Bros. Pretty sure I was supposed to do that in order to turn them all into coins to collect. Oh, I want that so bad. Ah, uh, we won't worry about it though. And what else do we got? What the f this is our final one. So we're at six right now, if I remember. I have no idea what this one's gonna be. Ice climbers! Oh my god, I love this. Such like clever. Oh, we have to. Yeah, we're gonna have to go up with this one. All oh, the moving holes. Akumi, you know your fucking classic video games. I'll tell you that much. Lots of great references here. All great games. Stuff I might not necessarily... Have th oh, you're gonna get me on the Ice Climbers. Stuff I wouldn't have necessarily thought of bringing up to make. Uh, but cool renditions. Alright, let's see if we can climb the ice. We're gonna go nice and careful here. I don't want anything to do with these, to be honest. Yeah, just get out of the way. Get out of there. I'll, I'll make my own way up at my own time. Grabbing my own shell and making my own rhyme. <laughs> Alright. Now. Just get through here. I've never seen these used on yellow blocks at all. And they apparently work really weirdly. They cause you to pass through 
future yellow blocks if you fall in. That's quite strange. It considers you almost like inside the block. I see some Kaizo goodness there. I don't know what it is, but there's something. Get some ghosts as we climb higher up. I haven't played a lot of ice climbers, but I have seen videos on it. Um, my biggest ice climber um, familiarity comes from Smash Brothers. Uh, I never had the game as a kid, and that's expensive now, I'm pretty sure. It's one of the good original black box games. Okay. Don't be like that. Okay, hold on. Yeah, just... No, stay right where you are, guys. Come on. Be cool. Thank you. So we're back up here to zero again. Meaning we need six as the final answer. That's everything. That's everything in the nest room. And I believe the esports was... Oh, we have to go back another one. I believe the esports was the last one. Oh, we almost get hit by that baseball. Answer is... Zero, one, two, three, four, five, and six. That brings us to wrong. I must have fucking forgotten one. That's great. Well, we're going to definitely guess from here on out. Um, I have to go get more lives. Oh, my God. I'm spending so much time grinding for lives that I think I'm going to do this. I don't usually do anything off camera in these uh, hacks. But for this, I might, between episodes, just grind out like 30 lives. So I don't have to waste so much of my recording time doing it. Uh, but for now, we'll just cut back. So what do you think? Is it seven? Eight? Nine? Did I go too high and it's five or four? Who the fuck knows? We're gonna try seven, though. No. Just hope. Hey, we made it somewhere different. I must have missed one. Oh, we got a boss. I actually was not expecting that. Oh. <laughs> the tiling! <laughs> the tiling is missing under the second half of the door. Okay, and this... We have our standard, uh... I can never remember this dude's name. So I'm not even gonna try to guess it. I screwed up his fight pretty badly too, but um... Hey, we made it through all the same. <laughs> Jeez, that was a hell of an episode too. I'm at 57 minutes. I don't think I can do an episode of this hack without it being like a full hour. Uh, hopefully it cuts down a little bit. Let's read this real quick. The drum roll got stuck it sounds like. Oh no, never mind. Mario has defeated the Iga Koopa, but si Mario was bored, so he decided to destroy the castle. Classic fucking Mario. What a rap what a rap scallion that Mario is. He's a scoundrel. Just blowing up people's houses for no reason. Breaking in, killing them, blowing up their house on the way out. Pretty fucked up if you break it down. Anyways, thanks for joining me, friends, for another episode of Squeeze Rom Hack Rom. I gotta wrap it up before this becomes an hour and any additional time. <laughs> because that's way longer than I want to make it. Uh, Atari Adventure is next. See, that is what I remember being a the Donkey Kong level. The first time I saw the Donkey Kong level or something. No? I don't know if this one was the Donkey Kong level, but we'll see what it is next time. Because we just did a bunch of Atari Adventures. I'd be surprised if there was another one in there that wasn't covered. But we'll see. We'll see what happens next time. So uh, thanks for joining me, friends. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I'm going to save state right now on camera so I don't fuck it up. I got a new emulator I'm using that's going to be better for recording. But um, for some reason, my flow is a little screwed up. I think that's why I forgot the save states last time. I'm just I'm out of my element. Anyways, I'll stop rambling. Thank you for joining me, friends. Hope you enjoyed the episode. We'll be back soon with another one. And I hope to see you all there. Have a wonderful afternoon.